There is positive news today in the fight against the coronavirus. Moderna says early trial results from people who took a booster shot or an experimental new vaccine show increased immunity against the variants first found in Brazil and South Africa. New studies also show Pfizer's COVID vaccine has proven effective against the variants first found in the UK and South Africa. This comes as the CDC reports more than 41% of U.S. adults are fully vaccinated against the virus. For more on this, I want to bring in John Moore. He's a professor of microbiology and immunology at Weill Cornell Medical College. Professor Moore, great to see you. What is your reaction to this news about how these vaccines work against those worrisome variants? Well, I think it's good information. We're getting more and more knowledge of how the vaccines perform against variants. And these variants, CDC calls them variants of concern. And we've all been concerned about them, but we don't panic about them. We know now that the vaccines are going to be effective against them, particularly for prevention of disease. The Pfizer study is a real-world observational study in Qatar in the Middle East in thousands of people, and you get information in the real world about how the vaccines perform. And the study shows that against the most troublesome variant, B1351, that originated in South Africa, that's the most troublesome one we've seen globally. The vaccine still protected at a level of 75% against infection and essentially 100% against severe disease and death. So if that's the most troubling variant we've, we've seen, it's going to be more effective against other ones. And in fact, we know that B117 that is widely spreading in the US, that is almost completely prevented by the Pfizer vaccine, provided you have two doses. And that's one of the reasons why it's important to get the second dose. So these are good studies and important information that gives us a great deal of confidence that we will be able to vaccinate ourselves out of this pandemic, provided enough Americans take the vaccine. Well, that is a very good point that, uh, you know, there still are a lot of Americans who are not vaccinated, even though we are making progress. Um, Professor, the CDC is now projecting a sharp fall in COVID cases by the end of July. Why do you think they've given this time frame specifically? And are you worried that some of these residual vaccine hesitancy could sort of disrupt this timeline? Well, yes, these models are very conditional on how people behave. The more recklessly people behave, the higher the infection rate. The more discipline that the population shows on a, on a collective basis, the, the more the caseload will be reduced. And if a large fraction of Americans remain unvaccinated and surveys show that it could be still as high as 30 percent, even greater, then we will not be able to achieve community protection and the, vac and the virus will still linger th throughout the year and perhaps will never go away. So, you know, the future of the pandemic is in our hands as a nation. If enough of us are vaccinated with very powerful, effective vaccines, we can make this pandemic essentially go away. We can render it something that we, will be a minimal national inconvenience. But if we don't take this opportunity and a large fraction of Americans refuse the vaccine, we'll be having this kind of conversation in months to come. We will still be looking at high infection rates. And remember, we're still seeing infection rates of 50,000 a day. Now, that's good compared to the peak we had in January of around 300,000. But it's still a high level of infections. This pandemic isn't over. But it could be over if we all or enough of us take the vaccines. The response is in our hands. Professor John Moore, thank you so much. A pleasure.